I'm Morgan. I'm a vegan life and wellness coach and I wanted to talk today about why it's important to build your community around you when you're going vegan or plant-based. Um, often family members, friends, spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, uh, they don't really get it. They aren't really into it. Um, you know, they might be like, oh, that means we have to eat all this bad food and vegetables. And I mean, that's not the case, but it can be really helpful to have, uh, other people that are outside of your, you know, daily life and have them support you and get your questions out too. So, um, yeah, I just want to talk about how, how you can do that. So social media is a really great resource for that. Um, Facebook has a lot of groups. Uh, you see a lot of new vegan and transitioning groups and there's often uh, groups for your area. So for example, um, Toronto Vegans is a great group for people in the GTA. Um, and people share stuff like, you know, where they found a new item or the latest news or they ask questions about uh, you know how do I make this or where do I find this uh, why is this um, so it's, it's a good way to kind of meet other people and, and get your questions answered I mean, really all the social medias have their own community and uh, you can find whatever your go-to social media is there'll be something there for you so instagram obviously very photo focused but there's a lot of vegans on instagram um whether that's activism or cooking just daily life connecting a great way to find people is to look through the hashtags um you can you know put in vegan see what comes up or maybe your area so for example, again, like Toronto vegans, you can put that in and see, well, who comes up and uh, follow them and connect that way. Uh, Twitter also has a big vegan community. Uh, there's a lot of bickering, a lot of opposing sides and views, but overall it's, it's, a, good, uh, it's a good community. It's a lot of fun. Um, and again, people are really happy to help. So if you ever have questions and you put that out, uh, people are normally pretty quick to uh, give you the guidance that you need. Um, Pinterest is really good if you're looking for recipes. Uh, you know, Pinterest isn't really my thing, but I know for a lot of people, uh, they really like making boards. So there's a lot of, of vegan recipes. And even if that's, you know, if you're gluten free too or soy free, there's definitely recipes on there for you. Um, obviously you're here so YouTube is a good one uh, you get to actually see other people and what they're doing and how they're living uh, what I eat in a day videos are super popular and they might be helpful um, to get some ideas and, and see what the practicalities of a vegan diet looks like uh, you know forums are good reddit might be an option there's uh, you know a vegan subreddit you can check out there. Um, certainly, you know, if you're in a bigger city, there's probably a local vegan or vegetarian association. So they might host events or uh, offer memberships. So near, uh, in the Toronto area, there's the Veg Society, I think. Uh, I'll find out, I will add it. Um, but they do memberships. So certain businesses in the area uh, will offer you a discount if you have your veg card. Uh, and there's other perks. So it really kind of depends. Again, you know, kind of just Google within your area. Um, another option is to participate in activism. So there's a lot of different organizations and they don't all look the same. Uh, and there's different uh, groups or chapters depending on where you are. Um, uh, one that you know, might work for you is uh, Anonymous for the Voiceless, uh, normally referred to as AV. They have a lot of different local chapters. So depending on, on where you're from, um, they may, might have one near you. 
Uh, there's also the save movement, um, which is kind of all over the place. It's, it's a lot of, uh, you know, probably the stuff that gets the bad rep. You see sometimes the footage of the animals and the trucks and people giving them water. Um, it's a kind of about bearing witness uh, to those animals and kind of giving them that last moment of kindness. Uh, I think with both the AV and the SAVE movement, if there's not a chapter near you, you could certainly look into opening one. I think the organizations have information on how to do that on their websites. Um, and I mean, right now it's not a good option with uh, the, the quarantine and the social distancing happening. But when we're through this, uh, another good option is to go out and uh, eat at vegan restaurants. Take a friend, even if they're not vegan, you know, they might be surprised. And it might make them a little more willing to do things like that with you in the future. Uh, you know, there's a lot of really good vegan ice creams and burgers and, and a lot of these restaurants have that. So it's, it's good for anybody coming from any kind of diet. Um, and then vegan festivals, there's the Toronto Veg Fest, and I know that they have Veg Fests kind of all over the place. Um, you can check that out. You know, there's multiple websites depending on your location. Um, there's also the Vegandale Festival, and I think there's, there's definitely one in Toronto, and I think New York and some other places, so you can get tickets for that. And then beyond that, if you're looking really for, to be supported, like you're new and you really have no idea where to begin, uh, Challenge 22 is really good. That's a free uh, Facebook support group, so you get to join. Uh, they have mentors and uh, I mean the groups kind of vary sometimes it's a thousand people sometimes it's more less it depends on how many are interested and how many groups they're running and uh, it's a good community I mean it's everybody that's new and they share recipes and there's uh, different like tasks not task challenges um, every day and, and you know interaction and there's um, the ability for you to ask all those questions that uh, maybe you have and get some answers um, and then in addition to that uh, I offer coaching so if you think you know maybe you've tried challenge 22 or maybe you just want one-on-one -on -one support um, that would be where I come in so we would take a look at where you're at uh, where you want to be why you're doing this what your goals are and what you have to overcome to reach those goals, whether that's the practicality of cooking meals, right? Maybe you have a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, children, whatever. You know, they don't eat vegetables and you don't want to be cooking several meals. Um, so, you know, putting together meal plans, things like that to... Um, help make everybody happy and make the transition easier and as well as just figuring it out you know like I said why are you doing this is this a health thing is it a weight thing are you aware of um, the the other aspects um, and I think being educated kind of on the full big picture is really helpful uh, especially you know when things are difficult the social situations, I think, are, are probably the hardest thing. And a lot of people don't continue uh, with a, a vegan lifestyle just because they have people that are trying to pressure them to, you know, get off of it or they, they don't know what they're doing or how to begin. Uh, under eating is super common. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of things that come into that and everybody is at... A different spot in a different place and so part of coaching is figuring out where you are where you want to be and how to get there I hope that helped you you know find some ways to connect with with other people within the vegan community um, if you have any questions concerns or you just want to connect uh, leave a comment below and I will get back to you thanks for listening bye